Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to automate your Nagios deployment. So whether you are an existing customer expanding what you're monitoring or you're a new customer and you're just getting your deployment rolled out, this is going to be a great video for you. Two great things are going to happen as a result of watching this and using the system. First, we're going to automatically install a monitoring agent on all of your Linux inventory. And second, all of your Linux inventory is going to register itself for monitoring. You heard that right, it's going to register itself. Are you ready for this? I thought so. Let's take a look. Let's get started with the two prerequisites you're going to need for this project. First is an Ansible control machine with key-based authentication already set up and running. If you don't have that and you don't know how to get that, there's a link in the description below that will take you to a video series that'll show you how to do that. It's really pretty simple and I expect to be back to this video in no time at all. The other thing that you're going to need is Nagios XI 5.5.0 or greater. You can check your version in the lower left corner of the XI interface. If you're not quite there yet, you can go ahead and upgrade. Alternately, you can also download XI 5.5.0 or greater from a link in the description below. Once you have that up and running, we can log into the terminal and take a look for the scripts, which can be found in user, local, Nagios XI, scripts, automation, Ansible, and CPA auto register. Take the whole directory and copy it to your Ansible control machine, and we'll take it from there. Now, you're going to find that there are a number of files in this directory. What we're going to do in the rest of this video is we're going to edit three of those files, we're going to run one of them, and then we're going to be done. The first file to edit is the hosts file. So in this automation, we are using both a local ansible.cfg file and a local hosts file. So whatever you need to do, get your Linux inventory into this local hosts file and you'll be good to go. The second file that you're gonna to need to edit is ncpa install and register. In that file, change xi IP to the IP of your xi. The third file to edit is secrets. Now this is an encrypted file, so you're going to need to supply the password, which is Nagios XI. In secrets, you'll see that there are two things to change. The first is XI API key. Change this to the API key of your Nagios XI installation. In order to find that, make sure you're logged in as Nagios admin in the interface, and then click on the username in the upper right hand corner. You will see the API key there in the middle of the screen. Go ahead and use that, put that in the file there. The other thing to change is NCPA token. Now this is the token that we're gonna to use to authenticate to the agent on your Linux machines. And so pick whatever token is appropriate in your environment. From there, we're gonna run run.sh and then sit back and watch the magic happen. Questions, comments? Let us know in the section below.